Okay, Assalamualaikum. So, today we are going to continue with the next topic, uh, Tools for Critical Thinking in IT. So, previously, uh, we have done uh, some exercises uh, on identifying the problems that you are facing at home at your ITM. So, I can see that everybody has uh, come up with the idea and some uh, possible solutions for that. Okay, so that's good. So, um, basically, when we identify uh, the problems, it is actually related to the uh, user. Okay, so all of us are users. So, today, uh, the learning outcome is to... Uh, sh you should be able to describe tools for critical thinking. So, we are going to see what are the tools that can be used for critical thinking. So, as uh, you can see that uh, the methods used in this course is based on user interview and observation. Okay, your, even your first um, assignment, which is uh, uh, the one that you have to uh, build in the, you have to build the uh, questionnaire, right? Uh, to distribute the questionnaire. Uh, to some of your friends uh, related to the IT artifact, it is based on user interview. Okay, uh, even it is in the form of uh, Google form, it is also uh, a form of user interview. And the second one is observation. Of course, when I ask you to find the problem okay, related to you at home at your ITM, it is uh, you actually use your observation. Uh, you Imagine in your mind based on your experience, right? Uh, to come up with the uh, ideas. Okay, so today let's look at uh, the tools for understanding the users. Okay, how can we understand uh, users? Of course, when we uh, uh, want to provide a certain uh, solution for the users, we have to understand them properly. Okay. When you are designing a certain application or IT solution for the users, you have to understand the user. Also, if you want to sell your product, okay, you have to understand your user. Uh, similarly, I give you example, uh, an example of a fashion designer. Okay, when he or she wants to design uh, clothes for the customer, for the user, right? So the customers are their users. So they have to understand. I mean, the the needs, of what the customer like, what he or she doesn't like, right? Uh, so in that way, uh, by understanding the user, he can, uh, the fashion designer can, uh, propose, uh, uh clothes, uh, uh, apa? Pakaian yang memang uh, yang diinginkan oleh user tadi lah. Okay. Expected from the, uh, that can match the expectation of the user. Okay. So, how actually can we understand the user? Uh, we can use this empathy map. Okay. What uh, actually uh, empathy map is? Uh, it is cost effective and time efficient way to learn more about your customers. Okay. Uh, so learn about the customer means you learn uh, about their core needs okay by learning their uh, emotional needs uh, we can deliver better content to them okay sama lah macam you nak uh, when you want to design certain application you must know uh, what is your user or your customer expectation towards your apps or towards your product any any kind of product right uh, what actually um they needs yeah. and um, this empathy map also will help you to cement uh, the brand trust from a customer point of view and will help your brand your product your website your apps gain influence and praise in the long run so of course by understanding the user you can uh, have their uh, trust and uh, you can ensure that they will uh, stick to your uh, company product okay website and so on okay so let's look at what is uh, the elements in empathy map uh, this is empathy map 
as you can see there are four quadrants here think and feel see hear say and do and then at the bottom another two elements pains and gains so uh, in the middle you have the user okay this is your user so empathy map uh, is to help you empathize with your users you want to understand your user so you have to figure out uh, what they think and feel, what they see, what they hear, what they say and do, and then what are the pains and gains of the user. Okay, so think and feel means what really matters your users. What are what what uh, do they worry? Uh, what are their aspirations? Okay, what they see maybe from the environment, the social media, the websites, the magazine, and what the market has already offer, uh, offered to them and then what they hear uh, maybe their friends the family members uh, boss peers and also the influences okay influences okay and then what they so, uh, say and do uh, how do your users appear uh, how uh, i mean the attitude uh, their attitude in public and then what uh, will be the gain, uh, they, their wants, their needs, uh, their measure of success, uh, their goals and pains, of course, fears, frustrations and obstacles. Okay, now let's look at uh, one example of empathy map of this lady. Okay, this is what? Uh, okay. Uh, the first one think and feel this is what uh, this lady think and feel uh, she wants okay i want to be seen as sophisticated and well put together i want to be known as the woman who smells amazing uh, ini apa yang dia fikirkan dia nak jadi orang yang nampak sophisticated well put together and also smells amazing uh, this is what she thinks and feels okay then what uh, she sees apa yang dia nampak okay instagram okay macam mana dia boleh ada pemikiran yang sebegitu uh, what make uh, she thinks and feels uh, in that way maybe from what he uh, she sees in instagram okay the beauty blogs influencers right from the instagram maybe influencers uh, maybe some of her friends, maybe what she reads uh, from the magazine, stylist magazine, okay. And then uh, here, okay, maybe this is what uh, this lady hears. Uh, fragrance is the final touch on any outfit. Uh, maybe dekat iklan, dia dengar iklan macam tu, ataupun uh, maybe... Uh, uh, mak dia ke cakap how can you spend that much on perfume uh, this is another uh, words that she uh, might hear you always smell so nice uh, ataupun kawan dia pernah puji dia compliment uh, ataupun uh, this special friend uh, uh, said uh, men like women who smell nice and so on okay and then the last one at the bottom is Uh, say and do so what uh, she says and uh, if it smells amazing that I must have it uh, contoh dia tengok uh, the advertisement uh, on TV on social media for example uh, she might say uh, if it smells amazing then I must have it okay I must uh, so from that uh, she put uh, well dressed, become stylish, and then wants to be seen as unique or trend setter. Uh, ni apa yang dia punya attitude lah, okay? Uh, daripada pemikiran dia yang ni dia mungkin akan behave in this way, okay? Okay, what she uh, hear, what she sees, uh, and then what she thinks uh, influence what she, uh, what's uh, I mean her attitude. Okay, these are the pain and gain. Okay, pain, gain. Okay, pain of course, cost uh, to buy the product.
perfume to buy the clothes uh, that is um, sophisticated enough uh, according to her view maybe uh, the pain that she experienced is lack of confidence okay, kalau tak pakai uh, pakaian yang sophisticated macam yang dia fikirkan tu dia akan lack of confidence uh, then maybe self conscious uh, then also high postage price mungkin dia nak beli uh, pakaian yang overseas dia kena order online ke high postage price ke okay then these are the gains uh, wants to be seen as sophisticated be complimented bila dia berpakaian yang apa stylish well dressed so she will be complimented okay feel confident and be remembered uh, by the people surrounding uh, her and then have a beautiful and instagram worth vanity mungkin ada uh, many followers in insta for example okay these are the gain that uh, from her point of view okay that is um, empathy map okay then next we move to user or customer experience map uh, to help you understand the their their means user or customers user experience with your product uh, so if you compare uh, empathy map is more to the emotion of the user okay what she thinks what uh, he or she thinks feel listen see pain and gain okay benda-benda dalaman okay from the inner uh, inner of your user okay what's in your user's head okay this one customer experience map a second type of uh, tool is customer experience map this is one example of uh, user customer experience map uh, this is for starbuck company okay they uh, this one uh, they are trying to identify the potential risk uh, at their i mean among the users of their product okay so they want to um uh, explore about the user exper user's experience of their apps okay uh, Starbucks kan dia ada apps kan okay so there are two division for drive through and online pickup okay for drive through uh, what uh, so for for user or customer experience is you try to uh, figure out uh, what are the processes that your user your customer must go through uh, uh, when using your apps or your product website ke tak kisahlah okay uh, so in this example the apps uh, first the customer set the destination in the google maps to the nearest tabak uh, let's say a customer wants to drive through to the tabak so first he or she will set the destination on the google map okay to the nearest tabak and then uh, drive to the nearest tabak Okay, arrive, Starbucks drive to uh, store. Then, what happened? Uh, line up and look at the menu uh, shown. And then, order drinks through the intercom. The next one is make payment at the first window. So, the potential risk here, the virus can spread through the card or cash or close interaction when user uh, makes the payment. Then, after that, wait for drinks and then uh, collect drinks at the second window. Uh, the virus can spread through the object and close interaction and other uh, potential risk here and then leave the store. Okay, this is the second uh, part uh, for online pickup. Uh, the user open the Starbucks application, press order, choose drink, select nearby store to pick up and then confirm order, make payment via debit or credit card. Apple Pay or Starbucks card and then head to the store, arrive the store. Okay, when the user arrive the store, uh, when he pull the uh, door at the entrance, uh, there is another potential risk of virus spreading. Uh, then, uh, check your item. If the item is ready, you can pick up, uh, the customer can pick up. If no, then uh, she, he or she has to wait for the name to be called and then pick up. Uh, this is another point where the potential risk uh, can occur.
okay uh, when the user pick up the order and also when he or she get the straw and napkins and finally uh, the user will leave the store okay this is one example of user customer experience you can see step by step uh, user open the apps uh, what he or she will do uh, to get the the process one by one process to get the product until uh, the user leave the store okay another one is uh, customer journey map okay uh, this one is customer journey map uh, sometimes called customer journey map also uh, customer experience map customer journey map samalah okay shopping for a new car okay first uh, the customer sees tv commercial for a website okay uh, then wish help people shop for vehicles then uh, visit the website ataupun sees advertisement on facebook okay uh, that uh, macam saya lah kadang-kadang saya nampak bila saya buka uh, media sosial ataupun you sendiri pun you akan nampak uh, advertisement so you rasa macam eh this is interesting uh, then you start to consider to explore more okay then second step is explore you go to the website look at the product okay in this uh, case vehicles within the budget create account uh, then save the favorite card in wish list and then download mobile app okay then uh, okay as you can see here uh, it is also included the uh, period okay that might be spent by the user compare uh, compare next is compare next step is compare read consumer report uh, macam kita lah kita tengok satu produk kita tertarik uh, kita pergi dekat website dia kita tengok semua produk dan kalau ada yang kita rasa tertarik kita akan go for review tengok review betul ke produk ni bagus kan so second one maybe we consult with the trusted individual constantly check site for new option that meet criteria okay ha, kita akan check lah contoh kalau macam you nak beli tiket flight ke kan kita selalu tengok ha, bila harga turun the price will drop or the price will increase kan and then uh, next one is test uh. this one in case of car kan uh, so select a car uh, to test drive look for location of dealership nearest dealership store visit dealership okay this car will sell person drive uh, sell, apa, test drive the car okay and then negotiate uh, this one uh, in terms of buying a car okay get financial term monthly payment uh, research more specific, uh, specifically about the price and make competing offer and buy new car okay so you have seen uh, the empathy map and also the customer uh, experience map okay so the class activity for today is uh, i want you to come up with the empathy map of a student Okay, uh, yang paling senang lah, yang paling rapat dengan, maksudnya yang paling uh, apa kena dengan you sekarang ialah student. Okay, try to um, come out with the empathy map, uh, write down how uh, what a student feel, a uh, pain, gain, hear, listen, semua tu lah. Okay, and then second one is you can choose any, uh, second class activity is choose any product, uh, usually website ke ataupun apps that you have used before and then try to uh, draw or uh, list down okay uh, macam ni lah uh, buat macam ni macam yang tadi okay uh, put it in this way uh, list down uh, the processes that you have to go through okay to get the final product okay so uh, that is uh, the two tasks for you okay so i think uh, that's all thank you